human personality is a composite one and we have the body then the mind intelligence and ego for the body you nourish the body and feed the body tell me how much how much time do you take for it to look after the body having a bath having breakfast lunch dinner maybe something in between all these five and six items together do they not take about two to and a half hours a day these two and a half hours you are exclusively devoting to the improvement health and well being of the body parallelly i ask if mind is what employs the body and bodily organs what are you doing to feed and nourish the mind and intelligence how much time are you taking you are spending the mind and using the mind but you are never building the mind just like you get away from your activities sit in a place and eat why should you not get away from the activity sit in a place and feed your mind nourish your mind this nourishment to the mind is called meditation and how can anybody say it is not necessary so sit in a place without activity close your eyes stop all activities physical and then nourish the mind harvard university has said that we have 24 hours of the day out of which 7 to 8 hours we are sleeping that sleep itself is for the body after 7 hours you have 1020 minutes harvard university has put up a bulletin saying that at least 20 minutes you should meditate every day and what is meditation in america i gave a new definition for meditation shall i say that <laughs> you see it comes from the word med m e d m e d med it always means middle mediate mediocre middle so our mind is producing thoughts every thought rises and sets rises and sets rises and sets so you will find this side of the thought this side of the thought no thought this side of the thought no thought so it always comes between two thoughtlessness so what you have to go into is you find out what is in between the two thoughts so that middle presence should be inquired into that is meditation middle presence mark my words meditate meditate is getting to the middle getting to the middle normally what we do is we indulge in thoughts follow them follow them get frightened by them what you have to do is don't follow don't get frightened try to go into them and find out where from they are coming and get into the middle of the two thoughts that is meditation